done it. You've endured summer and smoke season in Ashland, Oregon, and it's fall. And now, what the heck are you going to do? Or maybe you were coming to visit Ashland, or maybe you're thinking about moving to Ashland. This video is going to be all about some of my favorite things to do in Ashland in the fall. So I've got five basic areas. The first one is gonna be some outdoor adventure components. The next one is going to be some fall flavors, mostly around coffee. The third one is gonna be about some restaurants. The fourth one is gonna be about wineries. And the fifth one is gonna be about breweries because it's kind of a cool time of the year. Now, all of this goes without saying that one of the coolest things to do in fall is to go to an SOU Raiders football game. Coach Hall and the team are always a blast to watch and they just do an incredible job. The athletic director there, Matt Sayer, Bobby Hopkins, they do a great job of running a fantastic program. Really highly encourage you to go check out a football game at SOU. It is worth every penny and it's a great time. Also, the Halloween parade, the family parade, that happens on Halloween is an Ashland institution. It's definitely something that you want to do in the fall. As well as going to Lithia Park. Okay, so if you live in Ashland or you're gonna come visit Ashland or you're thinking about moving here, one of the coolest things to do is to go every day or at least once a week and walk through Lithia Park. The trees are constantly changing. It's beautiful. No two days are the same there. And it's just really a fantastic place to go and hang out. I can't encourage that strong enough. It's just really amazing. So get into Lithia Park, go to a Raiders game, do that family parade on Halloween. You're gonna love all of those events. Then number two, I highly encourage you to check out some fall flavors at some of the local coffee shops. Griffin Creek Cafe is right on Guanajuato Avenue, which is on the back side of the plaza. Incredible coffee, hand roasted, just some of the most incredible bakery items you can imagine as well. I highly encourage you to check them out. The number two spot I think you should check out is, is out of the downtown area. It's kind of a local spot. Shh. I told you about this one, but it's the Rogue Roaster Company, or Roco. They also have ice cream and pastries, and for those of you over 21, there's some adult beverages there as well. I highly recommend the mimosa with the ice cream and stuff, and I can't remember what Amy calls it, but it's so good. Make sure to say hi to Dustin and Amy for me. Tell them I sent you. You're gonna love Roco and get some great fall flavors there. The third coffee place I wanna really recommend is Case. Case is right on Siskiyou Boulevard. It's not kind of, it is directly across from University, and it's just incredible pour over coffee. They will also have some fall flavors too. I highly recommend you check out one of these three institutions. And if you go to Griffin Creek, tell David I said hello. The second place I love to do in the fall, especially on a rainy day, is to go to a local breakfast or brunch spot and just enjoy the rain and some great food. The number one pick, of course, for most of us is Morning Glory. Morning Glory is an incredible place. It's been in Ashland for a long time. It's a foodie institution. You gotta try the fried polenta and you can also try the Gouda apple sausage, two of my favorites. Make sure that you try and pick an off time so that it's not super busy but you're gonna love Morning Glory. One of my other favorite spots to check out in Ashland for brunch is Brothers or breakfast, either or, or lunch. Brothers is great. It's on the north side of the plaza a little bit. Try to get parking up toward outside of the plaza a little bit. You can work that out. It's worth going around a couple of times if you need to find the parking. But try and get one of the seats up in the loft. Just kind of hang out, have a conversation with a loved one or a friend that you haven't seen in a long time. It's great, the wait staff there is incredible. You're really gonna enjoy your time there. And then the last spot I wanna recommend is a little bit out of downtown as well. And it's an, another Ashland institution, the Wild Goose Cafe. So good, the breakfast there is amazing. If you eat nowhere else, you gotta go here and make sure to get the eggs with the shrimp and the creamy bacon grits, it is so good. You're gonna love it. It's a great thing to do in the fall. Just go support one of the local restaurants and have a good time, just hang out, enjoy a great brunch before you're walking to the park. Another great thing to do in the fall in Ashland is, especially if you're over 21, is to go and enjoy the harvest at some of the local wineries. Weisinger just does a special harvest event every year that you can go and you can participate in. If you are not a wine club member, you may have to go with another wine club member, but it's definitely worth it, trust me. It's also worth just to go check out for the day. The view is incredible out of the winery. And maybe for you, this is where you book their little Airbnb. They've got a gorgeous cottage on the vineyard and it's like 250 bucks a night. 
it's really worth it. It's a great place, awesome stay, a wonderful thing to do in the fall. Another winery that I highly recommend in the fall is Pascal's Winery. You gotta go check it out. They do on Wednesday night something called Cork and Fork, which is where they pair wine with a local chef, and it's just so good. And not only is it a beautiful place and great food and great wine, but the atmosphere is incredible. The people are incredible. Pascal also has some places you can stay, so check out their website for more information on that as well. The last wine room is certainly not the least, which is Bella Fiore. Bella Fiore is an amazing place. It's like a little mini castle kind of tucked outside of Ashland. A little bit of a drive, but it's definitely worth it. They've got great wine, they've got an incredible atmosphere, and you can schedule a private tasting event at one of their chateaus. Totally worth it. As well as show up Saturday nights, they've got live music. It's just a really cool hang. Beautiful weather, incredible views, and I'm telling you, you are not going to regret an hour or two or more spent out there drinking wine with somebody you love or a friend that you're getting better acquainted with. Definitely worth it. Check out those wineries and others near Ashland. It's a great thing to do in the fall. The last thing that I think is great to do in the fall in Ashland is to go to a local brewery and have a special seasonal brew. There's some incredible breweries in Ashland. Caldera is located in Ashland and just go and check it out. Each month they have a special seasonal brew. October is the south side. It's really a special place. They've got some special beers as well, like the Mother Pucker and some other specialty IPAs. Year round, I like the lawnmower lager myself. That's just the kind of beer I'm into. But if there's something else that you like, go check it out. It's a wonderful place. Get a meal. Trust me, you're gonna love that brewery. It's phenomenal. Another one, another local brewery and local institution, Standing Stone. When I was in school at Southern Oregon University, we used to go after performances down at Standing Stone and hang out. Brian used to have to get the milk when he was the young guy. And now you can go and you can enjoy a great meal with wood-fired pizza. They've got an outdoor patio and dining area. It's really great. I can't recommend it enough. Their double IPA is fabulous. You can get a little growler of it if you want, and then you can take that and you can enjoy that for, you know, the rest of the month or whatever. Enjoy fall in your own home. Speaking of growler, the last place I'm talking about today is Growler Guys. Growler Guys is kind of on the main drag towards the south end of town in Ashland. And it's cool because not only do they have a lot of options for beverages, but they've got a nice outdoor fire table. So when it gets a little chilly, you can kind of sit around that fire table with some friends, get into some good conversations and just really kind of bond. It's a wonderful time. I can't recommend it enough. It's so cool. Get a kombucha and just kind of hang out and just continue to build those relationships. That's what we need right now in 2021 is we just need time to kind of hang out and build those relationships, make them stronger and better than ever because through that our communities can survive any of these challenges that are coming our way. There are a lot of things to do in the fall in Ashland. I really uh, would love some more ideas in the comment section below, but hopefully you find some really fun things to do. If you're interested in moving to Ashland, there's a lot of pieces to that. Send me a message, we'll kind of get started, and I would love to help you. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below.